Hello, my name is Lucy Jones and I'm really happy to present my excerpt of Zauhunt by Leon Christ, translated as Sly Dog and published by Hansa. Um, Zauhunt is a story about a young man called Flori who runs away from provincial Bavaria in the 1980s and ends up in Munich where he looks to the club scene to reinvent himself at the height of the AIDS epidemic. The passage I'm going to read is set the night before he leaves, where he meets his boyfriend Gregor one last time, and Gregor has no idea that he's about to run away. What was really inside those bin liners, Gregor asks when I climb back into his cadet in a daze, and no porky pies. Oh, just some of my mum's old sports clothes. His expression shows that he doesn't believe a word. He shrugs in a strop and starts up the engine. Half an hour later, in a very overgrown patch of woods near Erlach, we're both sitting on the back seat covered in sweat, having nearly got stuck in the mud with the back tyres as we drove deeper into the dusky undergrowth. Just what I needed today. I rest my damp forehead on Gregor's shoulders, my briefs hanging pathetically around the backs of my knees as I start to shiver again. Even his sperm tasted weird today. Not of pure, shiny excitement, but more like rancid cooking oil that's been standing around in the cellar for years. As for me, I couldn't even come, didn't even get close. Hey, what's up? Gregor asks again, thankfully holding tightly onto my arm. Are you coming down with something? Maybe. Might be a cold. I can't get another word out. My throat suddenly feels corded up. He tries tickling me, but that doesn't work either nor do his silly faces. In the end, he just stops and sits there awkwardly, looking as if he's been through a hot wash and has shrunk. Hey, Flory, he said, I don't do anything with birds no more. You know that, right? Only like you. But at discos, yeah, there's no way round it, right? I have to ask a couple of them to da dance in case it looks suspect. He gives me a guilty glance and puts on his Michael Caine voice. I don't want no bird's respect. I wouldn't know what to do with it. His half-baked Alfie impression doesn't make me laugh, not for a second. I just sigh glumly and stare out of the window into the misty night. He'll never come to anything, it flashes through my mind. He'll never make it as an actor, a doctor, not even a cushy geography teacher with a decent pension. It makes me ache all over to have such a low opinion of my own boyfriend. He is and always will be Georg Ferg, Jr., nothing more. Is that really enough for me? As if I care, I snap at him, shocked at myself. Ask as many birds as you like to dance with you at the next lousy village disco. No skin off my nose. Sounds like the opposite. For Christ's sake, I don't feel good today, OK? Is that legal now, or what? Do I have to win a pissing contest every day? My flare of temper startles him and he clumsily brushes the back of my head with his rough fingers, the roughness of which never bothered me until now. Then he gives me a peck on the tip of my nose. It's all going to work out fine. Maybe we can drive up to Tots tomorrow, hmm? Would you like that? Go to a nice pub? My treat, what do you think? I don't know, could do. Horribly weak at the knees, I scramble out of the cadet. And just in time, the gravel underfoot stops me from slipping onto the ro road wet from the downpour. And anyway, at the last minute, a strong hand shoots out of the car window to grab onto for support. Gregor pulls me towards him for the last time and tenderly pinches my cheek like he always does. Then he does his parting riff. Is he going to be a good little boy? He pauses, swallows and bravely carries on. Uh, you still like me, don't you? I hesitate before nodding like one of those plastic dogs in the back of a dentist's estate car. With gruesome formality, we smile at each other like two distant cousins. Then Gregor pulls back his hand, only slightly reassured. I'm so happy that it's getting dark because, hopefully, he won't see my expression in the dim light of the neon sign. It will be a dead giveaway. Thank you.